Now let me give you an example of divine healing. A young Australian girl married an American soldier just towards the end of the last war. She migrated with her husband to America. There she had a couple of children and life seemed to be going well until one day they discovered she had an incurable disease. She was taken to the hospital, examined, tested, was in there for months. And finally they said, there's nothing we can do for you. You have to go home and you will be a cripple, an incurable cripple for the rest of your life. How many times have people heard doctors say that? There is nothing more that we can do. She went home and there her husband tried to cope with a crippled wife and two small children. And one day he came to her and he said, look, I can't cope anymore. When I married you, you weren't a cripple. I didn't marry a cripple. I can't cope with a cripple. I'm leaving. And he walked out of her life and left her in a strange country with very little means of support, a cripple with two children, no family over here to help her. The result of that was that she had an emotional collapse. And her life became not only crippled in her body, but crippled in her emotions. And many people in our society are crippled emotionally. A friend, a neighbor, thank God for Christian friends and neighbors, used to pop in and see her from time to time and say, Jesus Christ, can help you. Even though man cannot help you, Jesus Christ can help you. Why don't you turn your life over to Jesus Christ? And so one day in her room, she prayed a very simple prayer and she said, Lord Jesus Christ, I hand my life over to you. Come in. And Jesus Christ came and changed her, brought her peace and healed her emotions. A short time after that, she was taken to a service, something like this. And as she sat in a wheelchair, the minister went up to her and he placed his hands upon her head and he prayed for her in the name of Jesus Christ. And suddenly, she felt a warmth go through her body from the crown of her head going right through it to the sole of her feet. And strength began to come into her legs. And she stood in her wheelchair. She then took a faltering step forward and then another and then another. And then she began to walk. And then she began to run. And she ran up and down that auditorium with her hands raised, praising God. She had experienced divine healing. God had moved into her life, healed her spiritually first of all, healed her emotionally, and then healed her physically. That's what we mean by divine healing. Her story some years later was written up in the Australia's woman weekly. That is what God is speaking about when He speaks of divine healing. He's speaking of God's desire to heal you in your body, to heal you in your emotions, to heal you in your spirit, for God is a healing God. And He wants us to understand that He's not only a creator, He's not only a judge, but one of His benefits is healing. 
And this morning, Jesus Christ can heal you if you will come as a little child in faith to Him and say, Lord Jesus, I need healing. The greatest area of need for healing is in your spiritual life. God wants to heal you of every sin you've ever committed. He wants to heal you of the hurts. He wants to heal you of the scars. He wants to heal you. But we set up in our minds all kinds of barriers. But God says, look, come just as you are. Unless you can become as a little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. He was talking about faith and simplicity of faith. That we come and just believe that God is. And God is the great I am. And God can do anything. And when we come like that, God comes to us and ministers healing. Shall we bow our heads in prayer?